Today, we're going to review the Focus Odin 5 F3. My name is Bashar, and this stock 3D printing. Okay, usually I start with unboxing, but unfortunately I record the unboxing and my first impression about the printer, but I cannot find the video. Now, I'm gonna see something very important and I really want to be adding the review. It's the packaging and the box is was amazing. I never ever see a printer is being packaging like how the fork is done with the printer. The way they are uh, designed for the box is like something you buy it from Walmart or from like a nice place. It's like in the shelf, you just plug it, uh, like you hold it and you take it. Plus of that, the packaging, the, the manual, all the tools has been there. Everything was awesome and organized. I really love that box so that have everything in it. Just wanna clarify that. Now, let's see what we print and how my experience in other stuff. Okay, now, after assemble it, which is, there is nothing considered assembling. It's just like five, 10 minutes because the printer come with uh, pre-assemble or just folded printer. You have two screw here, there's two screw here and you're good to go. Now, there is some cool features in the printer I really like. Starting with the touch screen and the cable management and the dual ZX in the side, plus of that silent motherboard and dark extrusion and they have the sensor for the filament. It's like inside here which is amazing features. As I said, I was so happy with all these features. Now, plug it to the power. Unfortunately, I have a problem, which is the hot end doesn't move and doesn't get to do the auto home. Now, I reach immediately the customer service for Focus, and they were so super nice. They sent me immediately a new motherboard arrived within two weeks. After I replaced the old motherboard with the new one, I have no problem. I start as usual, I print with all this stuff being pre-sliced in the motherboard and the keyboard. And they're all coming very beautiful. After that, I download the slicer. It's come with the with the memory card and it's already, it's Cura, is this focus um, version of Cura. And was very nice to have the two files and uh, two profile. And I really use, I think their, their profile, the stock one. Without any change, I start printing. Again, I start print big stuff. Like Deadpool was one of the first big things I printed was awesome. And I print more stuff. And you can see there is a lot of cool stuff I already print, something like this. I have no problem, something with like, both of those are clock spring, and they're all come beautiful without any problem. Now I keep printing stuff and stuff, and I was having a project at work, they want me to print some stuff for, for one of my company events. And I print all these standard, it's like around 90 or more, they're all being printed by, by Focus Audion 5 F3. And I have no problem. Like I've been using this printer a lot for for the last month for last month. And every time I use it, I have no problem. Now, as you see the result, everything looked beautiful. But as usual, I have some stuff I really like and stuff I don't like. What I like, I mentioned in the beginning, the touch screen, the bed glass, the cable management, the design for the printer, like for the fan, this is the cover you can print your own own colors because the STL file it's already in the memory card the dual Z axe and the silent motherboard but there is two things is really ugh, I wish was there not I, and that those cable the wrapping cable it's really easy to break and when I troubleshooting the printer when I mentioned the beginning I have a problem with the motherboard I, be, I believe I broke this one was doesn't work the good things with the with the focus they already have a spare cable and that fixed that issue but in general I don't feel comfortable when I see them in the printer the second thing I really feel like I wish they have it is dual uh cooling fan here but was have no problem because I was able to print TPU and come out perfect. Have no problem with it. And I don't think I don't think so it's a big problem, but I was love to see it. Now that I recommended this printer for somebody new in 3D printing, definitely yes. 
If you see this video and you want to buy this printer, just buy it. It's really amazing. It's really good printer, easy to use, and the communities get bigger and bigger, and there's amazing support after this printer. And regarding the community, Focus have their own website where you can, when you're able to design and upload your STL file, and for their user, they can, it's like public, anyone can access it. But something amazing, it's company, like focus, think about stuff like this. Second printer, for sure, farm printer. You can see, you want to more approve. I mean, print all these stuff here, and they're all come perfect. In the end, this is my review for the Focus Odin uh, 5F3. If you have a different experience with the, with the printer, please share it with me below in the comment. And if you like my video, please don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and turn notification. And I as always ask you, please, Keep printing.